What's up guys? This is the Roferman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War. Let's play as the Italian States. So to pick up where we left off, we've been fighting in Egypt and we're beginning to push against the Ottoman Empire and we've actually assaulted the city of Cairo. So there are some extra reinforcements coming in, so we need to do this fairly rapidly and get Cairo spun around to pro uh, recruiting more troops to help push back or hold back the Ottomans at least for now. So without further ado, let's crack on. You do have a small reinforcing army coming in, but it is it is incredibly small, so there is no real concern there. But our overall strategy, I think, is strong. We need to drive east against the Russians in mainland Europe, keep our troops sailing around the north, landing in the Russian rear, and then we've also got this southern front against the Ottomans, chiefly well, most importantly, because if we let the Ottomans just sit there and turtle, then they will just continue to gather forces around Ankara. So at least by doing it this way, we actually create the uh, we create a bit of a, a necessity for them to push their troops out into the wider world, and then I can destroy them. So let's get my grenadiers and Swiss grenadiers to go through the town with pike support. Two infantry units and a skirmish unit to go around each flank. You can be they can each be supported by a cavalry unit. Might get some friendly fire there from that artillery, but it's okay. We can deal with that. Heavy cavalry on the left, general on the left as well. Ah. A it would appear. Reinforcements are coming in the most annoying direction possible. So let's just pivot these guys around. And just wait for the reinforcing army to come in. These guys need to take over that position on the right. This cavalry needs to push... Well, this infantry needs to push up Rapido. Make sure you're all running. Push up the Lancer Guards. The field artillery is doing a great job there. But it might. Get them to focus fire. This armed populace unit. Because right now this artillery is unprotected entirely. Might even push these guys up a little bit more, just to spur the, the action a bit quicker. Mostly the, the, the large chunk of their forces are made up of these armed populace units, so that's not a massive problem. Yep, here comes the friendly quickline. So because this is a light infantry unit, I just want to make sure my line infantry is within range. Which they are. There we go. This light infantry will get gunned down by the rapid fire from our regular line forces. As the next volleys roll in. There we go. And my Swiss Mountain Jaegers might fancy their chances as well. Okay, where's my cavalry? Get this light infantry into the house, get this infantry to take position there, get this infantry to take position here, get this Lancer Guard to come storming in from the rear. These men are going to pour fire into the pikemen, although my Jaegers with the funny rifles. Already done some good damage. Come on, you men, present. There we go. They're going to do a lot of damage to those chaps there. Lots of routing over here. I got some skirmishes stuck in this action, in this battle here. Yeah. 
I'm not worried about the uh, the armed popu armed populace doing too much damage. Yeah, the Zombie Swordsmen, they're not gonna they weren't go they weren't going to uh, last against the Pikemen. No. See look, they they were leaving to get into the armory. There goes the pikemen, and then we're still in. We're going to get the same thing happen to them. There we go. It's Nizam infantry that's point blank. For most of those guys, it's not really worth chasing them down because they are just infantry units. The heavy cavalry here can come and take out the Muslim, although they'll likely get routed from the line infantry. And you guys just may as well charge, charge something down and kill them. Yeah. My Jaegers are opening fire against the pikemen. So they're losing men. And the 145th are going to do some good damage against this unit of Orta. First volley crashes in, mostly focusing over here. And we get our second units kicking into gear. But these are just Chaps, unfortunately, armed with like, pitchfork, rake-looking things. So I might just pivot my infantry entirely to deal with the pikemen. Yeah, they're trying to charge. Going after my light infantry. Okay, if you want to make this a good old fashioned scrap, then they can. I just want my light infantry to run away. Their pikemen have morale problems in general, let alone when they're already depleted. So they can lose a bunch of men. Especially when my line infantry gets to work. Let's pull my cavalry out. I will experience some losses there. Let's pivot them around to try and hit this unit of Muslim. So where's my general? Can heavy cavalry continue to fight there? So my general, we may as well chase down these guys. <laughs> that swordsman came back. We may as well chase these guys down because these are reinforcements. Let's stop the artillery. Which mean well, these are reinforcements, which means these are the uh, units that came in outside of the city, and these are the units that will actually remain on the campaign map. So let's do a, spend a bit of time chasing them down. Although it's a bit odd we haven't had any, you know, the battle is over moments. There we go. Continue. Knock out those pikemen. Those Muslim are going to rout and the Lancer guards are near Oh, the, yeah, there we go. Garrison is are. They're probably shooting at something. Probably wouldn't have been too important. But yeah, that, that was kind of what I expected to see when uh, we had no enemies on the map. There's a, a hidden unit somewhere that I've not found. But there we go. That's knocked out Cairo. So that southern front is now secured. I don't quite know what happened. why you're there, but whatever. So you men hold the crossing. 
these men here. Replenish what you got. And let's pick some settlement fortifications. Our priest is here, which we're still converting. The regent. Actually, what can we what can we recruit for free? Light infantry. Even then it's minus one turn, so it's it's not immediately useful. So you've landed at Crimea. You can push up to auto Alexander Katnakova Kanatova. Well, they needed a lot more damage to us than they would have done ordinarily, but never. Let's push up to get ready to threaten Kiev. Do you have any reinforcements here that I can take? Take you guys from Hungary. Run you guys up to the fort because I want to see if I can get these guys up behind Laval in case they wander too close and we intercept them. So we've got Poland under siege. We're still waiting to see what the Swedes do here. The Russians are still loitering around from Sweden. Looks like those guys are going to try and attack us, but if they do, they will be repulsed because our garrison's still pretty strong. You can knock out the remnants here. You might even better get those guys. No, not yet. Let's repair what we've got in Sweden. Let's get... Oh, can't use those. Let's... Actually, are you a militiaman? You are. You can go back to Rostock, then this sloop can sail around to Malmo to hold it for us. You're chasing down the leftovers. You're being redirected down around to Petrovskaya, marching towards us in St. Petersburg. We've got our ships around here, ready to land to the, in the high north. Obviously, we're still... I want to stack up one more unit, one more army of troops. Then I've got three three stacks here ready to land on the coast of, of Cagliari to go fight Sweden there. Still got these chaps to worry about, although that might now might be the time to deal with it. So if I do declare war. We can try and pull off a sneaky assault before all these guys get involved. Which we won't be able to do near uh, Württemberg. But it will. we can do it here. Then we can also free up these armies to help further surround Württemberg. So, let's go and assault Stuttgart. And hopefully do it quickly enough that we don't have to deal with uh, too many enemy reinforcements storming in. And uh, realised while I'm recording, I need to put my phone on to charge. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, so in these sorts of battles, fortunately, we've got a, a Paris pattern army involved, which is, which means we've got our horse guard artillery in the mix, which means we have a significant amount of artillery while still retaining a large amount of of uh, infantry support. So let's actually split my houses up. Because both of them, they're both well they're both good enough to take out two targets. To find my houts are like so. So then around the flank we're gonna put up our our elite. hide them in the trees the same way as I have done. Ah. Just line them up. Line them up to minimise losses. Then we're going to have two units of infantry going in to each breach. 
One of them is going to have pikeman support. My cavalry going to be on the left to try and either exploit this breach or any potential gates captured around the left hand side. Let's get, let's get going. My howitzers then focus on Swiss guards. And you guys are probably going to hit someone in the middle. All there, all the, all back here. Okay. Don't remember the cavalry yet. Let's speed up time. Okay, the horse guard artillery. They put out a large, significant amount of firepower. They reload quickly, so you don't need two of them to work one breach. That's overkill. So do they have? They do have some mortars, but they're sat right at the back. Oh no, let's cut this unit there. But ultimately we are going to make significant inroads through our artillery. And then when they when they deploy their troops near the breach, we're going to then quick climb the breaches to improve our ability to overwhelm the fortifications. Whoop. Too bad we can't dis disable these put walkways, but there we are. Even if you aim at this particular section of the fort, the, the front of it crumbles away, but this path still exists. And the same, the same with previous siege battles. I don't want to kill units. Not yet. Damaging them, okay. But I don't want to kill them. So units there that waver for a split second. We then probably want to go and shoot something else to try and not draw too much damage onto one target. So there we go, we've made one breach which the AI will attempt to valiantly defend. Cavalry, eh? So up goes the infantry, then let's go to my line over here, get them moving up because my artillery, uh, the, uh, <laughs> the howitzer batteries are going to immediately engage. So let's get my, oh okay they're just pivoting to, they're just pivoting to support the defenders, okay. Oh well, the charge has started. So let's go to the men up here and get them to actually push up to their respective gates. See if they can lure any enemy responses. Some garrison guards and militia. So let's get a unit of Swiss grenadiers to ascend here. Unit of Swiss Guards to hold the breach. Grenadiers climb actually up here. Swiss Grenadiers climb here. The rest of you all run around the rear. Attempt to try and capture the gate and pour our men in. Let's get Yeah, so it makes sense that most of our assault troops come up here. I've started to really get into the idea of massing troops up here then then uh, charging across the bridge. Yeah, they're gonna do Swiss guards are not gonna be happy about that. Good, a, D, a good quick climb hit. Let's get some on the centre. 
push up the cavalry. Push up my men. There we go. My Swiss Grenadiers will ascend here rapidly. Swiss Grens are up, they'll charge over, start attacking the men holding the gatehouse, and then these guys will attempt to try and climb the wall as well. Get some good hits onto the men that are actually currently in the centre. Some garrison guards are coming down to play. Okay, let's get you to hit that unit of militia, you to hit. Still the centre, I suspect, of all that cavalry. The gendarmerie are, are charging, which means they are probably aware that we are attempting to scale the wall up here. The garrison guards are also up to understand what we're up to. But let my let the, all of the Swiss grenadiers get up here first before charging across. Hopefully, we can take the gate before they get through. There we go. Good. So then these guys will get to the gatehouse, and then they will be stopped, and they'll have to come another way. Okay, this is the big thing. Now they've started. Now some of the units have started to rout. So let's get my cavalry in, start challenging the enemy. You guys can begin to charge over the bridge. You guys all get over here and start fighting towards the bridge as well. Come on you guys, walk away from the gate. Regiment of horse through the gate. The cuirassiers, you can slug it out in the middle if you like, but. Well, I mean, there is a square formation. There is a unit in square formation there, which I don't really want to fight. So if my grenadiers can capture the gate. No, regiment of horse, keep running through. So ideally I want the units covering the gate to uh, clear off. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I want those guys to clear off. In goes the pikemen. Pour some infantry through this gap here. Can you guys also start to get involved? I mean, I don't want to charge through the gates because then these guys will just tangle, will hold up my guys. Although I might just have to charge one of them through, otherwise we'll never get out. Garrison guards say they're winning against my Swiss Grenadiers, and that's because my Grenadiers aren't actually getting involved. I wish my Cuirassiers would actually make their way through. You guys might start hacking the militia apart. The cavalry's Dead pleased of how things are going, but that's because they're just sat there blocking my gate. They're not even they're not even being useful. Well, I mean, by blocking the gate, they are being useful. But whatever. My crassiers get out of there. My pikemen 
should be getting involved anyway. I mean, my curiosity air should probably try and get through that hole there, but it looks like that's not going to happen. This unit's not winning against the gendarmerie for whatever reason. Fight the gendarmerie in the centre. Okay, we're starting to see the first enemy. Well, no, no, actually, no, we're not. Okay, you've almost finished. Hopefully, some of my men will just bleed through this fight. I want you guys to abandon abandon the men trying to climb up the wall. Just cross. So my cavalry just scrapping in the middle. If we capture this gate, which annoyingly it looks like we're just not going to. The militia are going to hold us up. Whoa! You guys just start hitting the armed citizenry. Don't worry about what's going on in the middle. I mean, I just retargeted you. Literally just picked a new target for you. You men form up and get ready to engage. Watch the gendarmerie are wavering. You guys chase down the garrison guards. The Swiss Grenadiers get down. Good. The men are starting to pour in. So hopefully once we're in, we will... I mean, we're not... Oh, I need to secure that gate, really. But once we're in, I said once we are in, I don't know why you are forming up through there. You guys get up there to secure the gate, you guys drop into square because that's what's about to happen. Charge these grenadiers in. Hurrah, here comes my general. No, don't go out. Just go in. This is the thing with Empire. They get obsessed with, you know, we're being attacked. We want to go over there and resolve that combat. And it's like, no, you don't. Stop doing what you're doing. Well, fine, you guys want to go. No, let's see, they're doing it again. They want to go out, to the, out there to fight the general fight the bodyguard. It's like, no, come in here and kill them. For whatever reason, this militia is doing a sterling job holding off our men from capturing the gate. You get up there and capture that. I'm doing it again. It's like, no, don't worry about them. So why even bother to have guard mode if what they're going to do is just go, no, 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 no guard mode for us. Like that general is going to get caught out and killed by the regiment of horse, so just have them run. This is the last gatehouse they control, even though really you think we control it by now. Okay, you guys get there. Someone get on the central objective. You guys form square because you're about to get charged from a couple of places. Obviously, they've hit our artillery because they're coming in from behind us. Even though... Even though we own this 
we own this uh, gatehouse. There's no, there's no other way to determine it. We own it. You guys get over there and man that wall. Yeah, the general's dying. That's fair enough. Let him die. You guys also get involved fighting the guards. I told you to withdraw. But you're not. For whatever reason, my men, even though they're withdrawing, are, are determined to uh, scrap with the gendarmerie. Good, we finally took this gatehouse. All it took was most of my core of elite infantry. Let's see if I can get my general over here through this unit of uh, Swiss guards. So you guys should hopefully better be engaging. Oh, good God, look at this. Two reinforcing armies are coming in from the same point and my general's bodyguard has decided to stop and fight. God, the AI in this game is so just dumb. No. No, General. If you won't retreat, then just come over here. Make sure you're running as well, not walking. Stop trying to fight! Oh, just die. You deserve to die, you silly General. Oh, there we go. You win anyway. <laughs> but still, I remember your face. I remember your face, General. You're about to get dismissed. There we go. Prussia has been destroyed. You, you sir, Uberto Galviani, you are dismissed. <laughs> I don't hold a grudge. So we didn't lose anything but a unit, uh, our regiment of horse. That's what's missing. Let's steal some from this army. Let's get rid of that university. These armies are very much going to have to just slog their way through uh, Wurtem uh, through Wurtem Bavaria. They're going to have to just go in, attack these guys and just get ready to fight a real long battle. It's just all of them. Okay, you can now move east, probably up towards Gdansk to help support this fight against the Swedes again. Heidelberg is about to be demolished. Okay. So let's hit end turn. As my spies move up into Russian territory. <laughs> okay, good. The longer they keep their men around near Ankara, the better the less they're going to send to the Middle East. I mean, they are sending men to the Middle East still, understandably. But we need to just keep spamming out troops. Got to remember, the main target is Russia. So they can have a bit of a surprise when we come down and land in the rear. <laughs> All right, they really don't want to raid that farm. Ooh, they might be gearing up for something near Laval. Yeah, don't worry, I've got men coming over to fill the garrison, to fill the to become the garrison of the fort that I've just abandoned. Could probably do with filling out with more troops, but ooh, I've got to keep an eye on those Russian men in port. As well as probably garrison that fort there as well. The fort near Finland. Because then I would be able to prevent any troops from running around 
St. Petersburg. That army's going to go... Yeah, I figure that's what they're going to go for. The gap that I just exposed. Okay, might need to deploy some troops down to Transylvania. Pretty Ricky Tick. Do I want to intercept? No, I want to do it when there's a bunch of them. No, I'm not going to do that. Because I don't want to deplete the army that's in the town. Ooh, you're going to try a break away, are you? Well, in a minute, you're about to be attacked. Well, next turn, actually, you're probably going to have to uh, have to attack me. Otherwise, you'll lose your territory. So, so, so. Transylvania itself is not fortified, I don't think. Sabotage my palatial estates. No, it's not fortified. The best bet is to probably... No, I've still got men there. Okay, this force of artillery and howitzers. Hightail it to Transylvania. Let's probably pick up some... Eel artillery. Lots of raids. We researched rifle cannons, then we're going on sheet lead cartridges. And then that's the last tech in the game under research. Now they detected one of our agents. So yeah, this guy's gonna try and run around to Berlin. But that's not going to really work. Oh, did we not repair the Royal Palace? Damn it. Okay, let's move. Can you guys leave Hanover? Minus two? Okay, let's leave the expats. Okay, I might have to leave a couple more units in Hanover. As well as maybe pull one army back. Just to keep them within reach. A lot of men in Laval. So I wanted to see if I attack them. No, it brings in. Okay, just withdraw. I didn't want to fight it manually because I really could not be bothered, but I did not want to auto resolve it because I did not want to damage the fort, the garrison here in Moldavia. Let's take Crimea. Minus 11, they really don't like us. Okay. Start to spam out Dragoons. Let's hop up here to the north. Let's land my men. As well as their agents. Okay, you go to Archangel, you run on to Comey. There we go. Yeah, these little. Okay, first of all, let's run this army away. To Petrovskaya, all this stuff run up to occupy the fort there at Finland. Now, my little cluster of depleted troops, now you can hit. These last Russians. Yeah, you are always going to beat all those Cossacks. You men replenish, then march down to the fort as well. Let's repair these mines and let's take this fleet back and bottle up these ships here. Okay, you guys are going to stay where you are actually and replenish. Actually, you guys might move away. If I want this fort to go anywhere, I want them to attack the town. I don't want them to hit... I don't want them to hit the uh, this depleted army. So you might keep them here, in case these guys are defeated and run south or west. That's probably the better option, I think. And yeah, now is the time 
to uh, start to dump troops onto Cagliari. There are. Oh, bit of a frame rate drop there. See, these are actual troops. These aren't useless troops. Let's land an army there. Get the fleet back. Or the fleet. The sloop back. Embark the army. Let's give them some support. Let's go here. Take the garrison at Tunis, although you don't have any quick line. That's not great. So the objective is to dump them all here. Come on, can you not disembark them? Can there keep the port under blockade and then let's immediately start getting more getting replacements because chances are that army will be destroyed well those armies will they'll either be destroyed or they'll take an absolute hammering so let's get some get some reinforcements built you continue holding the port, which is probably crew sloop. Upgrade the dock there. Good. So the Russians are advancing on to St. Petersburg. But let's get. If they're going to let us, let's recruit some. Recruit some units that if we combine them with the existing little force here will actually be quite a mean little fighting army. So they're down here in Cairo. You carry on and do what you do. You guys keep keep building and start to churn out colonial line. Because we're going to really need to start to Okay, you guys just keep keep blockading their ports. And let's pick up some grades here. A bunch of troops protecting a random port. Okay, let's take Mario Torricelli and let's go and capture the city of Warsaw. Let's take another major city away from the Russian Empire. You must not fear death, my lands defy him and you drive him into the enemy's ranks. Yeah, that is true. That is very true. Yeah, if we can capture Warsaw, that's that'd be quite the linchpin in the front of our formation. So let's deploy our artillery. Actually, let's go. See, I always like the left attacking the left here because because of how the deployment zone is shaped. So like. I like attacking, breaching here, then attacking this wall, so that if I need to, I can pull them in off to fight the, fight in the breach and vice versa. Also, having one breach doesn't mean you can have a hell of a. I don't even want the cavalry. Those men can all hide in the wood. To be honest, my cavalry can come over here as well, actually. Collectively, these men plus unit of marines are more than enough to secure the breach. Okay.
to be honest, I'm tempted to just assault because they've got no troops anyway. Let's run, 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 run. Go after the provincial line, then go after the. No, not the regiment of foot, it's too small. Go after that garrison line. They're all spread out. And the quick line, they're not quick line, the cavalry, just go over here. You men assault there, you guys go there, you guys climb, climb, you guys hold. There we go. Everyone's on the move. Got that garrison line got. Gutted by that quick line. Running over the bodies of your dead comrades to come and fill up the. Oh, they've all they formed square formation. Oh. No, they're getting hit. Hit hard. So get up there. Throw up those irons, and let's get moving up the wall. Okay, ultimately, the troops we've got back here are just General's Bodyguard, Vibionis Dredzi, and a Dragoon unit. So they've not really got good reserves. Most of their men are dying on the walls over here anyway. I mean... If these guys are happy to leave the gate open... Yeah, I thought not. Mm, you change target, that could be quite devastating. Those guys are going to climb up the wall pretty ricky tick. Here come the Vibione Streltsy. That infantry is almost completely annihilated. If this cavalry wants to come out and charge us, they're more than welcome. I mean, shot one of them from the saddle and they've come back inside. Let's get these men to just charge straight across the... Oh no, now where are they? I mean... Nope, I was about to say, if they're going to leave their gates open, then I'll take it. But the gates are about to be open here. You guys attack the cavalry. You guys have nearly made your breach. The 31st Regiment of Foot are going to pay for this, pay for that decision with their lives. Quick climbing hearts, folks on the militia behind the wall. As these cavalry block the gates almost entirely, despite being severely outnumbered and of low quality. Let's just get a unit of the regiment of horse. <laughs> the guy went flying. Get a unit of the regiment of horse through to go hit the mortars. The 
in you go marines in you go line infantry and everyone else just push well the russians are winning for now no don't get caught out Stop our artillery from engaging and instead aim at the armed citizenry. Same with my foot artillery. There we go. The dragoons are falling thick and fast. There you go, getting my own cavalry in there really helped. Nope. Wait, kill that last mortar guy. You guys run up to shoot the general. You guys run up to shoot into the back of the combat of the breach. Very well. Go after the general instead. Let's throw these guards into the mix. <laughs> Throwing men into the breach, honestly, is just... <laughs> Most of the time, it's such a waste. You may as well just feed the men one unit at a time. So the general's had enough. Let's stop all our artillery altogether. Our stripy guardsmen have knocked out, or will knock out, the mortar crews. The regiment of horse chased down the general's bodyguard. Ah, you got killed by Vimbiani Strelzi. So this regiment of infantry might actually be enough to hold them off, because my men Rather than climb up here and attack, they ran along here. Now they're going up here single file. Which, when the name of the game is Overwhelmed to Destroy, is not great. You guys, make sure you're sat on that central point. Sure you are fire well off. Yeah, good stuff. Hello, here comes a regiment of cavalry, some units of cavalry who are winning. That's the annoying thing is they say, oh look, we're winning. And you go, yeah, it's because you're sat in a choke point. You should get gunned down. In fact, I might just set you guys up like this. Take him out, fellas. They don't give up. Kill them. Fight them. And there goes smashed into the back of these militia. The general's bodyguard is continuing to skirt away from us. There we go. Go fight the general. What are you guys doing? What are these guys doing? Why have they abandoned the fight? I mean, these guys were ordered to go down here, I get, but this unit, the 18th, they were meant to try and capture the damn gate. Terrible strategy. Oh man, just, just when the frame rate start to drop, we win. So sometimes this kind of tactic holding the center it's the only thing you can do otherwise look they're doing it look, they're doing it again they're running away from the gate god damn good job i captured it <laughs> or else that would be pretty annoying there we go warsaw is taken i'm going to almost immediately move mario out get ludovico in Actually, they're both knackered. 
Well, you have the glory of taking it, so you can stay in there then. Ludovico continues to replenish. Let's repair a bunch of your buildings. Let's go check for any universities. There's one. Destroy it. Let's repair the economy buildings. Also they've just got two pleasure gardens to try and offset the unhappiness. So you're going to go after Ar Archangelski. You're going to go after Komi. You're on your way to Petrovskaya. Cool! Looking at the timer and the fact that it's getting a bit toasty in my room. I think I need to pack it in. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the Italian States. Cheers, everyone. Thank you.